It all starts with the question, what do you even learn in library school? My name's Peter, and this is Stacks and Facts. So I figured it was about time I made this video because y'all keep asking for it. Um, but the short answer is that no two MLIS degrees look the same. And the reason for that is that in the United States and Canada, most places that hire librarians require that uh, you are a graduate of a program that has been accredited by the American Library Association or the ALA. And the accreditation process that the ALA provides to make sure that all MLIS programs are fairly consistent uh, provides a lot of flexibility, um, but it's also quite rigorous. So I'm not going to read through the entire accreditation process, but I will read six, that's four, six, we're going to pretend I have six fingers, uh, requirements that they list specifically for coursework, okay? Okay, so they require that curriculum fosters development of library and information professionals, that is, librarians, who will assume a leadership role in providing services and collections appropriate for the communities that are served, emphasizes an evolving body of knowledge that reflects the findings of basic and applied research from relevant fields, integrates technology and the theories that underpin its design, application, and use, responds to the needs of a diverse and global society, including the needs of underserved groups, provides direction for future development of a rapidly changing field, and promotes commitment to the continuous professional development and lifelong learning, including the skills and competencies that are needed for the practitioner of the future. But aside from that, go wild. The way that most schools handle these requirements is that they will basically have a core set of courses that address these requirements in them, and you will usually do those in the first term of your studies, and then they will sprinkle, that is to say the schools, will sprinkle things that match these requirements throughout other courses that the program offers that you will take later on. But really, outside of that core set of courses, it's up to you what your program looks like. Um, which I think is pretty rad, because no two librarians are going to have the same requirements, necessarily. But if you want to know what an MLIS can look like, here's every class that I took and a takeaway from each in 20 seconds or less. Per. Not, not all of them. That would be like, what, 1.2 seconds per class? That's not gonna, that's not gonna happen. Okay, let's, let's just get to it. Well, Carl, you know, it's like they say, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it double check its sources and question its preconceived notions of what's right and wrong if the answers aren't easy enough to get to in the first place. Or, or something. I think that's how it goes. Ethics Review Board? Wait, what even is ethics? Is that even a thing in information science? Uh, I don't think that's a thing. Uh, does it count if there's no blood? I don't think there's going to be blood. Uh, ooh, it, well, it should be fine. The experiment's going to be fine. It should be fine. Psychological harm. Oh, oh, psycho... It's not fine. It's not fine at all. Okay, so... So I put the comma after the first name, okay, and then I capitalized the first letter of the last name, but if there's more than one author, then I have to determine which one gets listed first based on whoever had more more, more pets before the age of 18. What? Unless their, their pets were invertebrates, in which case I should see section 10.2.2.2.A? Wait, is, is, this, is this RDA or is this AACR2? Mark? Hey there, you, uh, you wanna see my Gantt chart? Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty great. Uh, I think I was able to divvy up the work so that no single person is a point of failure. And I think the timing should be good so we don't have to worry about going over budget. Yeah, no, it's purple. Oh, hello there. I was wondering if you had a moment to spare to talk about design heuristics. Have you heard the good word from our Lord and Savior, Jacob Nielsen? Here, let me just leave this with you. All right, and then this should be the last thing and execute. Perfect. All right, and uh, as you can see, we are slowly killing our planet uh, and giving up any sense of privacy we might enjoy so that we can afford to buy these machines uh, that have been designed to draw our attention from otherwise useful things, because capitalism. All right, uh, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Any questions? Yeah, you in the red uh, with the hammer, and then you with the sickle. Oh, wait, 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 
Wait, wait, wait. So what you're saying is that by having overdue fines, we're actually keeping people affected by poverty from coming to the library in the first place, even though they're the folks who could use our services the most? And we don't actually get significant amount from fines anyways? Okay, so then why do we have fines? Hello, fellow youths. I also am young, like you. Would you like to see some dank memes? Behold. Okay, but like those are some pretty dank memes, like seriously. No, I get that we're designing Tinder for dogs, but like just because the focus group says that we should only have pictures of tennis balls and bones, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, no, it's, it's absurd. No, butts is fine. I told you before, butts is fine, but tennis balls don't be ridiculous. Can you believe this guy? Tennis balls. Now, I know you thought your library's databases looked good before, but just wait till you see the sequel. When it comes to government corruption, I guess what they say is true. Sometimes sunlight is the best disinfectant. Peter, we get that you really like YouTube, but we did a survey, and aside from you and 343 people named Catherine, which we're not going to get into right now, no one else wants an entire road just for books and movies by John Green. No, and that's, that's totally fine, because uh, his brother Hank actually just released a book too. Besides, look, I made a Gantt chart. What? Wait, 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 so you mean to tell me I can study whatever the heck I want for an entire term as long as I can just find a faculty member to sign off on it? Well, let me tell you a thing about YouTube. So that's what my MLIS looks like, but it's probably going to be a little bit heavier on tech than most people's just because that's what my background is in. Now, if you want to know more about these courses that I have mentioned, check out the links in the doobly-doo. I put links to the actual descriptions from the school. They are actually really good classes. I really enjoyed all of them. So have a look. If you'd like to learn more about what I was looking for when I was looking for programs to apply to, or if you want to understand a little bit more about the sticky ethics of requiring a master's degree to become a librarian, or if you want to know what accreditation looks like a little bit in more in depth, uh, subscribe by clicking the button down there. Yeah, still there? Yeah, it's still there. And click the bell to get notifications whenever I upload a new video, which is about twice a week. Anyways, that's all I've got. So as always, thank you for watching. And until next time, don't forget to ask questions. Okay, bye.